Okay, so boom. We starting off today with a fresh set. You guys have already seen me do the acrylic application a few times. So I figured I'm only going to show you guys the nail art today. So here I'm just cleaning the nails um, for the application of the matte top coat before going in with the nail art um, because as you guys know i think i said this in another video already um applying a matte top coat before going in with your nail art is going to help give you that crisp look that you want um so i suggest y'all try this if you haven't already um so yeah i'm just doing the french and I have to say having this brush made it so much easier this is a brush from Shein I'm going to link it down below for you guys and I bended it myself and the fact that it's bended it just glides on the nail as you can see Here you can see again I went first I went in with two straight lines as if I'm painting a V French and then I connect the two lines in the middle so just with like a C curve and that's how you do it guys and that's how easy it is a French is not difficult but you have to learn to control your brush and your hands like you can see I'm shaking but I am using my pinky to stabilize my hand while I am painting the French and after you get that right you just fill it in also when you're filling in your French make sure that you are applying a very thin layer on the sides because if you don't pay attention to that you can lose your shape really quickly and then at the end after you put your top coat you're gonna realize that you have like drops it's like little bumps or humps at, at the corners of your nail and you don't want that because then you're gonna mess up your shape it's not going to look as clean um, so just pay attention to that and always clean up your sides before you put it into the lamp I think you're gonna see me do it um, in this video but um, just make sure every time even with your top coat just clean up the sides with your fingers before you put it into the lamp
Here you're going to see me clean up the sides of the nail after I'm done filling in the, the fringe. So this is just an example of what I was saying before. Just make sure you're always cleaning the sides and of the free edge before you put it into the nail. So you know that your nail is clean and the shape is right. This is what the nails look like after they all have been cured in the lamp and I am so obsessed. I think I might do another set with these but then glossy because they look so pretty like this and with this base color the nail nail soft beige I really like that combination so yeah I'm definitely gonna try that again and as you can see now I'm just starting to paint the cow print and it's very easy you just take a dotting tool and make like cow print shapes it's like abstract shapes but with rounded corners so you can just go crazy and one thing you should pay attention to is making different sizes different shapes in different directions so you're gonna see me make bigger cow prints and then little spots here and there so it makes it a bit more realistic
look how cute they are like they turn out so pretty seriously i'm obsessed with them it's so sad that i had to take them off but anything for content right so in this case this is a situation of thank god for my splurging for my obsession with buying things that i don't really need because um i almost never use this um, box of rhinestones but turns out i had like fluorescent iridescent um stones that matched with the colors of the of each nail so i did a different color of rhinestone on each nail that is the same as the nail color so you're gonna see how cute is this i swear to god it's so simple but it turned out so cute and it, it reminded me of my childhood kind of i know it sounds stupid but <laughs> it's just so cute now i remember what it reminds me of if you guys are around my age then you would have grown up with teletubbies like tipsy lala Bo! <laughs> that was the cutest thing i was obsessed with with them and i feel like these nails are giving their vibe it's just it's a teletubby cow print vibe or something i don't know what do y'all think what what is it giving let me know in the comment section and since the nails are going to be matte i uh, i don't apply top coat on top of the rhinestones because otherwise they're not going to shine and to make sure that i don't um brush any matte top coat on it i take a detailer brush and um, put the top coat around the rhinestones so you know that's another little trick i use and of course after you cure it in the lamp i always file again i usually file with the 180 side which is a bit finer because I don't like when my nails have ridges and using a, a rough grit um, file it's, it's gonna end up with ridges at the edges and I don't like that so I suggest you use a finer file for your your less you know step and this is the end result guys they are so stinking cute i just can't don't forget to like subscribe and comment bye bye